Hi teachers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we talk everything special education. If that interests you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Today we are going to be talking all about my life skills math curriculum. Comment below and let me know if you are a special education math teacher. I created this whole math curriculum to save you so much time. When I was teaching special education math, I literally had to create everything from scratch. I'm sure if you teach special education math you know what I'm talking about. It's hard to meet the needs of all of your students so that is why I created this and put everything in one place so that all you have to do is download the resources and you are ready to go. Everything that I use with my own students I put into this huge discounted bundle. This curriculum will cover you for the entire school year and honestly I'm not even kidding maybe even two or three years with all of the resources that are included. There are actually 200 resources within this curriculum and there are a ton of different units within this curriculum. So one of the most important topics to teach when you are teaching special education math is of course money. It's so important for our students to understand money to help them hopefully become independent someday. The eight life skills money units included are listed here and, and each of the units has multiple resources. The first unit is teaching students coin names and value. Then we have dollar bill names and value skip counting, which gets them ready for counting coins, counting dollar bills, do I have enough money, which is also basically the same thing as budgeting. Then we have the next dollar up strategy and making change. I love teaching money to my students. I promise that everything you would ever need to teach money is included in this curriculum. The other units included, and again, all of these units have multiple resources. The first one is basic facts. There are four levels included. Then we have telling time which also has four levels included so that you can meet the needs of all of your students. Then we have elapsed time and basic fractions. There are over 8,500 pages and slides included and I'm not even kidding, I counted all of them. <laughs> Here are some example resources that are included within each unit. We have cut and paste worksheets, drag and drop Google Slides activities, kaboom games, dice games, task cards, and scavenger hunt activities which are also very similar to write the room activities, matching worksheets, this or that games, fill in the blank worksheets, packets, and then we have exit tickets. I also want to mention that every single one of the worksheets included can also be digital. So you can print them out, you can use them on your smart board, or for free you can assign them to students digitally. So students can complete these on their computers, their laptops, their iPads, whatever tech they have the students can complete them on. Next I made a list of all of the 200 resources that you will have at your disposal if you decide to purchase this curriculum. And I should mention that the curriculum is linked down below in the description of this video or you can find it in my TPT shop Activa Teacher. This curriculum is deeply, deeply, deeply discounted. So you can purchase it for a discounted price or you can go and find the individual resources that you like and purchase them that way. Next, I wanted to start with a life skills math scope and sequence. You can actually get this for free which is also linked down below or in my TPT shop activity teacher we're gonna go through it right now so this resource is a scope and sequence by week and day for teaching the topics of basic facts money telling time elapsed time and simple fractions in a special education setting within the scope and sequence there are also activity ideas of what you could use each day if you decide to buy the curriculum you will have every single resource that is listed in this scope and sequence I created this scope and sequence specifically for special education teachers to use because I always struggled with knowing what to teach next in my self-contained classroom. I really truly hope it helps you. As you know every student is at a different academic level so you can use the scope and sequence the best that you can to meet the needs of all of your students. For some students you might need to only use the beginning levels of each topic and for other students you might be able to use every level of this scope and sequence. My hope is that this makes differentiating and knowing what to teach next in your math class easier for you. Here I have an overview of all of the lesson plans for an entire school year. So this is an outline of what you can teach every single week within each unit. For example, down here we have nine weeks of lesson plans for the topic of money. The first week you would teach your students about identifying coin names and value. The second week you would move on to dollar bills. The third week skip counting. The fourth week counting like coins. The fifth week counting mixed coins and so on. So this just easily lays out all of the lesson plans for you for the entire 
entire school year and it makes it really easy to be able to just pull out the resource you are looking for each and every day. Next, I wanted to share my daily routine of what I do in my self-contained math class. The first thing we do is we always do a math warm-up. Here's an example of the math warm-up that I use. And again, these are linked down in the description of this video. There are three different levels that I use. Some days I will put this up on my smart board and students can interact with it that way. And other days I just print out these warm-ups and have students complete them. So there are, I think like 280 math warm-ups that I've created for you guys. Here's level one, here is level two. And then I also wanted to show you some level three examples. Here's what students will learn in each level of the math warm-ups. In level one, students will learn about identifying coin and dollar bill names and value, telling time to the hour and half hour, basic addition facts, fill in the missing number, and elapsed time to the hour. In level two, students will learn about counting money, telling time to five minutes, basic subtraction facts, skip counting, and elapsed time to the half hour. And lastly, in level three, students will learn about budgeting and do I have enough money, making change, telling time to the minute, basic multiplication facts, and division facts, basic fractions, and elapsed time to five minutes. These math warm-ups are honestly probably my favorite resource that I ever created and probably the most time-consuming one too. But it's really great to use these at the beginning of every single class period because these are crucial skills that students can practice every single day so that hopefully they will remember these skills for the rest of their lives. Let's move on. So typically I'll do a lesson and I like to follow the I do, we do, you do strategy. First I show the students how to do the skill I'm teaching which is the I do section. Next I do the skill along with my students which is the we do section and then lastly my students practice the skill on their own which is the you do part of the strategy. At the end I will give my students a quick exit ticket that consists usually of only one or two questions so that I can quickly assess and see which students are understanding the skill I'm teaching so that I know if my students are ready to move on or not. And of course this is never graded. I like to use it as a ticket out the door or when I have students who have more challenging behaviors I will tell my students that once you finish this exit ticket then you can have a five minute break or students also will have a little bit of time where they can buy things at my classroom store. Here is the basic facts weekly outline and then as you can see each week it literally tells you what to teach every single day and what resource to use. So you can just click the link and it will take you to the actual resource that you can use. And again, if you purchase the curriculum, every single one of these activities is included within the curriculum. So you would just click the link and then download the resource and there you go, you're ready to teach. So for example, on day one, I would use the addition up to five picture addition worksheets on my smart board. Then I said, you can also print out the picture addition worksheets and have students follow along. I just love using my smart board. So that is kind of why I always suggest it because it's kind of like hands-on learning. Next, we'll have addition matching worksheets and then there is an addition up to five exit ticket. In day two, students will use scissors and glue to complete the cut and paste worksheets or you can use the cut and paste worksheet on your smart board as a drag and drop activity. Then we have tic-tac-toe, we have an asteroid level one game, then day five we have task cards and so on. Each week tells you what resources to use on each and every day so it makes it very very easy. Next we have the teaching money scope and sequence weekly outline. So in week one you'll teach coins, week two dollar bills and so on. And then again it tells you week one when you start teaching money you're going to be teaching coin names and value. So on day one you will use the matching worksheets and then you will do the color by coins worksheets and then lastly the exit ticket. On day two you will complete the this or that activity. Day three the cut and paste worksheets. Day four you will do the coin dice game with your students. Day five you will do the money kaboom game and so on. So every single week has different activities with different topics. This makes it just extremely extremely easy to use this curriculum if you follow this scope and sequence. Moving on from the scope and sequence I just kind of wanted to go through some of the activities that are included. This outline tells you every single activity that is included within each topic. So here we have basic facts resources. The first unit within basic facts is addition. We'll zoom in here. Here are all of the activities that are included just for addition. Then we have subtraction, multiplication, there's cut and paste worksheets, a kaboom game, correct or incorrect worksheets, drag and drop Google Slides activities, matching worksheets, tic-tac-toe games, task cards, and so on. Then we have division. Then we have money. And here are all of the resources included within all of the different money units. 
So here we have budgeting. There's a kaboom game, task cards and scavenger hunt activities, this or that activities, a dice game, cut and paste worksheets, matching worksheets, a packet, exit tickets, and so on. If you go to my Teachers Pay Teachers store and click view preview, you will see this outline where you can see every single activity included. Lastly, we have different ways that you can use these resources. You can use them as math centers, digital games on your smart boards. You can mix and match the resources to make a packet. All of the worksheets are digital and printable. You can also assign them to your students, which is included free with your purchase. We have task cards. The worksheets are differentiated for different levels, which makes it perfect for special education. Use these during whole group, small group, individual practice, math intervention. The list kind of goes on and on. <laughs> so there you have it. That is an overview of my whole special education life skills math curriculum. This curriculum is really great for all grades. When I created this, I was a high school special education teacher, but a lot of my students were at an academic level of anywhere from kindergarten to fifth grade. Make sure to go and grab the free scope and sequence in the description of this YouTube video if you want ideas on what to teach in your life skills math class or if you want to use it to follow along with the curriculum go right ahead and download it it's free and you can purchase this life skills math curriculum which is deeply discounted in my TPT shop activity teacher it's also linked below in the description of this video I really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're looking for some free resources for your classroom make sure to check out the links in the description of this video also I have a bunch of other activities available in my TPT shop that you can purchase for your special education classroom. Currently, I obviously have a ton of math resources and I also am building up a lot of career and job skills resources too in my TPT shop. My shop is called Activity Teacher. Thank you so much for watching. I really truly have put my heart and soul into creating this curriculum and it has taken me years to create it. So I really hope that your students enjoy this curriculum as much as my own students have. I promise you will save yourself so much time with this curriculum. It is basically no prep. All you need to do is download and print the resources or put them on your smart board and you are ready for your math class that day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week. Happy teaching!